Hey gang, we got a bit of a heat wave going on today, and you know what they say, when the temp's above freezing, it's time for de-sleeving. Today I'm going to show you how to make some simple and cheap hanging garage storage. Now, you could go and buy these shelves on Amazon for about $130 a piece, and then you'd still have to put in the plywood for them, or you can make them yourself for about $50 a piece. So, you know which way I'm going to go. This build was a bit more challenging than some of the other ones I've done. Um, not so much because it was complicated, but because it was up on the ceiling. For whatever reason, I have a hard time flipping in my head how things are supposed to be when they're up in the ceiling. So, well, you'll see what happens. The first thing I do here is cut all the cross pieces for the frames of my shelves. Each piece is cut to three feet and nine inches. If you want to give yourself a little extra wiggle room, you could add a quarter of an inch or maybe a half an inch. That'll make getting the plywood onto the shelf frame a little bit easier. I'm not wearing my usual attire because it was about 16 degrees in my garage when I was filming this. Just a little too cold for a cutoff. Once all the cross pieces are cut, you can start assembling the frames to make a nice 4x8 foot platform for your plywood. The middle 2x4s are measured at 32 inches from the end of the 8 foot 2x4. It's a pretty big gap, but I'm not planning on storing my anvil collection on these shelves, so they should be sturdy enough for anything else I want to put on them. Here's where I got smart and marked out where I want to put all of the cross pieces and pre-drilled all the holes for easy assembly. This is definitely the easy part of the build. Things didn't get complicated until I started trying to hang them from the ceiling, which is no small task when you're flying solo. I strung two by fours across the ceiling joist, and then I placed a second vertical two by four at about four feet from the wall that I used to hang the shelves on. I also attached, uh, I guess what you could call a cleat to the wall just below where I wanted the shelves to go so that I could rest the shelf on that while I attached it. You can't really see it from this camera angle, but that's what I'm doing right now. As I mentioned in my introduction, once I go vertical, the struggle begins. For whatever reason, the four foot mark was very hard to find in the ceiling, so the two vertical 2x4s I used to attach the front end of the shelf needed a bit of adjustment throughout the process. Fortunately, I had those cleats there to hold the shelves up while I made my adjustments. Using a couple of clamps to hold the shelf where I wanted it while I attached it to the vertical 2x4s also made things go a lot more smoothly. No garage doors were harmed during the making of this video. Alright, the first shelf is in and it sags towards the front, but I'll fix that in a little bit. I tried to place the 2x4s on the ceiling in such a way that I could hang multiple vertical 2x4s from them, and it almost worked. Whoops, well, mistakes will be made and projects will be delayed. An experienced carpenter, woodworker, or construction worker could probably build these shelves in a couple of hours. But I'm me, so it took me a good chunk of a Saturday. This is about as good as it gets here, folks. I couldn't, oh, lost my balance. I couldn't get my four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood up there because of the confines of my garage. So I braced that corner with a two by four, except I didn't have enough length. I needed about eight feet and three and a half inches, actually eight feet and probably three inches to brace that corner. So it's just there, it's clamped, and hopefully I don't knock it over when I'm putting the plywood up there. Wish me luck. I know what you're thinking. I should have stacked the two 2x4s on the ground instead of placing them side by side. 
Well, hindsight is 2020. Foresight rarely is. Either way, I got that plywood up there and I'm no worse for the wear. So, I guess it all worked out in the end. All right, I just gotta attach this last corner and then I should be all set. I used three inch deck screws when hanging these shelves. I'm sure you were all quite curious about that. There isn't a ton of storage space above the garage door track, but it's space that would otherwise go unused, so I wanted to make the most of it. And let's be honest, nobody's paying any attention to that because you're also distracted by the shorts and boots combo I'm rocking. Now I gotta figure out where to hang the other two shelves I made. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in next week when I take on an automotive repair project.